Did you know? Urusei Yatsura's title is a multifaceted pun. Urusei is a play on the Japanese word urusai, which can be translated as noisy, obnoxious, and troublesome, while Yatsura can be translated as those guys. The pun gets a little more complex, however, using the character for star, taking the place of sai in urusai, and uru being the planet that the alien oni in the series come from. Hence, Animago's one off English title, Those Obnoxious Aliens. The full name of the main protagonist of the series, Ataru Moroboshi, is also a pun relating to the title, as his name translates to, To be hit by a falling star. Lum herself was named after American model, singer, and actress Agnes Lum, though creator Rumiko Takahashi was quick to point out that Lum had no physical real world reference. Described as the original otaku dream girl in the book Manga, The Complete Guide by Jason Thompson, Lum Invader has been a popular and enduring character in Japan and abroad since her debut. In the early 80s, Lum and fellow characters from the anime were featured in public service announcements from the Kansai Electric Power Company. Urusei Yatsura and Lum have also made their way as an influence in international music groups. One group, an indie band hailing from Glasgow, Scotland, directly referencing the anime, named themselves Urusei Yatsura. The Urusei Yatsura anime is also featured in American singer songwriter Matthew Sweet's music video, I've Been Waiting, which is actually comprised mostly of clips of the anime along with clips of the band playing. Lum also makes an appearance in Sweet's videos, Ugly Truth Rock, and Sick of Myself, briefly as a keychain and framed photo on the wall. Urusei Yatsura is bountiful with references to Japanese mythology and folklore. Lum and her species are based off the oni, demons of Japanese folklore who are often depicted with horns and tiger print clothes, for which Lum's iconic bikini and little horns are a dead giveaway. The custom of setsubun also plays a big role between Lum and her childhood friend, Benton. While normally friends, when this holiday comes around, they become intense rivals. During setsubun, it is custom for a member of the family to wear or act like a demon or goblin, while the rest throw beans at them for good luck. As Lum's people are based on the oni in their appearance, Benton's clan are biker versions of the Shichi Fukujin, or the Seven Gods of Luck. Benton's name is a direct reference to the goddess Benzaiten, who is a member of the Seven Gods of Luck. Other allusions to popular figures in Japanese mythology include the character Oyuki, who has many similarities to the folklore of the Yuki Ona. Similar in not just name, Yuki Ona, literally translated as Snow Woman, have long hair, pale skin, and wear white kimonos. Another is the race of Princess Kurama, who resemble the Tengu. Tengu are mythical bird creatures, which would explain the looks of her servants and possibly her hairstyle and wind controlling leaf. The most famous Tengu are also known to come from Mount Kurama. The town where the anime takes place, Tomobiki, is a reference to a Japanese superstition as well. In a lunar calendar that was used by the Japanese, the names of each day determined one's luck, and Tomobiki is one of those days. Thought to have good luck all day except at noon, Tomobiki, translated literally as pulling friends, is considered a good day to have a wedding. Where one pulls together those close to you in the spirit of love. Speaking of bringing people together, behind the scenes things weren't always as vibrant and loving as they were on screen. Urusei Yatsura has spawned a total of six movies, with the first two being directed by iconic director Mamoru Oshii. Oshii has garnered a reputation in the anime community as being very independent and free thinking. Even to his own detriment at times. In an interview with Central Park Media, Oshi recounted his thoughts and the growing friction with original creator Takahashi. Reflecting back on it, I was quite disappointed with the whole thing. The characters were the same and so were their personalities, all their traits. Even the setting was the same. The only change was that a lot of new and different characters were introduced and the fans seemed to enjoy that. But instead of a real movie, it was a fan movie, an event movie, I suppose. For the second and arguably most iconic movie, Beautiful Dreamer, Oshi took matters into his own hands, writing the entire script himself, 
Without consulting Takahashi, I remember we did a slide presentation for the movie at one point, and the series creator arrived. After it was done, we said, Let's have a meeting to discuss the good and bad. I asked her if it was okay, but she didn't have much to say. She did say one thing, but our thoughts differed. That more or less meant that this project was separate from her. I think she liked the first film better. Oshi continued, Manga and movies are two separate worlds, so when making a movie, you can't avoid fighting the creator. To tell the truth, I only met Takahashi three or four times. When we met, we only ever said a couple of words. We seemed to frustrate each other. Thanks for watching. We're Did You Know Anime, the anime trivia resource. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. And make sure you share this with all the other obnoxious aliens out there. This is Roxanne Beck, the English speaking voice of LUM in Beautiful Dreamer. <laughs>